certificate to any charter to a public university. Your Excellency, in the past, the Commission for Higher Education has confined its mandate to private universities due to some constraints in the legal framework. We are grateful, Your Excellency, for the proposed university bill which seeks to expand the mandate of the Commission for Higher Education. The expanded mandate will ensure a level playing field for both public and private universities in quality assurance, secure the interests of Kenyans in respect of access to quality education and enhance regional and international competitiveness of higher education institutions. Your Excellency, as the Commission plans for higher education, it takes cognizance of the provision of the new constitution with respect to the creation of 47 counties. A number of these counties do not have institutions of higher learning. With increasing population of school leavers, Your Excellency, we urge the counties to attract private investors in higher education by providing incentives such as land on agreed terms, including the type of programs to be offered with bias towards science and technology. Your Excellency, sir, I would like to conclude my remarks by reiterating the Commission commitment to carry out the mandate that your government has entrusted it fully and without fear or favor. We have endured to carry out our duties with respect, professionalism, dialogue, consultation, and consensus. This is done on the understanding that the request and the quest for excellency in higher education is a task for all of us and is best achieved through participatory and consultative process. We will continue to do this because quality in higher education is not only the best interest of Kenyans, of Kenyan child, but also crucial for socioeconomic development of our country. Finally, sir, let me thank you once again for finding time to be with us today. We are aware that these are very busy times for you, but you have still chosen to be with us to celebrate this day with Mount Kenya University and your Kenya citizens who value education so highly. Your Excellency, let me call upon the Commission to read the citation. Commission Secretary. Thank you. Your Excellency, Mr. President, sir, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, here is the official citation for the award of charter to Mount Kenya University. Whereas the Board of Trustees of Mount Kenya University, proprietors of Mount Kenya University, situated in the Republic of Kenya, wish to establish an institution in the name of Mount Kenya University, and whereas the said Mount Kenya University has applied to the Commission for Higher Education for the grant of a charter in a manner prescribed under the Act, and whereas the Commission for Higher Education has visited and inspected the said institution and is satisfied that the objects of Mount Kenya University are consistent with the advancement of university education in Kenya. And whereas the Commission for Higher Education is also satisfied that Mount Kenya University has complied with the provisions of the Act and the university's rules of 1989, and whereas the Commission for Higher Education has submitted a draft charter, the text of which is annexed here too, to the Minister for Higher Education, Science and Technology on the said institution, and the minister is satisfied that Mount Kenya University be granted the charter, and whereas the minister has submitted the charter to the president with recommendations thereon, Your Excellency, sir, I now have the pleasure to invite you to grant the charter to Mount Kenya University. I, Mwai Kibaki, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya, I am satisfied that the granting of the charter will be of benefit 
to the advancement of university education in Kenya. Now, therefore, by these presents, be it known that in exercise of the powers conferred upon me by Section 12 of the Universities Act, Cup 210B, I hereby grant to the Charter annexed to, to, Miss, to, my, to Mount Kenya University on this 26th day of January or in the year of our Lord 2011. His Excellency, the President, has now been, the Chairman has, has been awarded now the Charter and the other instruments of authority. First of all, starting with a mace. We start off with a mace. And then the university logo. On the logo, as you can see, at the top is the motto of the university, which is scaling the heights of education, with the Mount Kenya sitting on the globe, symbolizing how the graduate will overcome the challenges of the world. And now, His Excellency the President is handing over the seal of the university. At the center of the seal of the university is a mountain surrounded by the name Mount Kenya University. The four instruments of authority the charter, the mace, the logo, and the seal have now been granted and be handed over to, his ex to the chairman. <laughs> the chancellor, Professor Victoria Wells Wilson, will now be installed chancellor by the Chairman of the University Board of Trustees, Mr. Simon Gicharu, by being robbed in an academic gown. Before that, Mr. Gicharu will make his remarks. In accordance with the provisions of the Universities Act Cap 210B of 1985, and under the powers conferred upon me by the Mount Kenya University Charter, Article 11.1, I hereby install you, Professor Victoria Wursin, as Chancellor of Mount Kenya University. And do hereby... <laughs> and do hereby give you authority to exercise the powers of the said office of the Chancellor. Professor Wells Wilson is now being robbed. She holds a Doctor of Medicine degree, a Master of Public Health, and Doctor of Public Health in Epidemiology. 
She is a professor at the University of Cincinnati in the USA, an experienced physician, and has been coordinating various international programs. <laughs> professor Wells Wilson has worked with organization in the United States and currently is founder and president of Soteni International. The chairman of the University Board of Trustees will now hand over the instruments of authority to the newly installed chancellor, starting off first with the charter. And now, before handing over the mace, the chairman will lift it high so that we can see it at the top. At the top of it is the globe, which symbolizes the universality of knowledge, the shaft for, with five pillars, which symbolize the hand holding the globe, meaning pillars to symbolize teaching, research, and community outreach, and the base having the relief of Mount Kenya superimposed over a book, giving the distinction that the university's name is derived from Kenya's highest mountain, Mount Kenya. the Chancellor, and then we move now to the logo. There is the logo. At the top is the motto of the university. And after the logo, we shall now have the seal also handed over to the Chancellor. And now that the Chancellor is Chancellor, will in turn install Professor Stanley Waudo as the Vice Chancellor by having him robed in an academic gown. Professor Waudo holds a bachelor degree in biology Masters in Plant Pathology and a Doctorate in Plant Pathology from the USA, specializing in plant nematology. He has served as a Director of Open Learning, Director of the Board of Postgraduate Studies, Dean Faculty of Science, and has served on the National Environment uh, Tribunal for seven years. And he's a member of numerous professional organizations, including the American Society of Nematologists, American Society of Physiopathologists, and the Kenyan Society of Microbiologists. He will. He will now, uh, the Chancellor will make a citation. In accordance with the provisions of the Universities Act Cap 210B of 1985, and under the powers conferred upon me by the Mount Kenya University, Charter Article 191. I hereby install you as Vice Chancellor of Mount Kenya University. And do hereby 
give you authority to exercise the powers of the said office of Vice Chancellor. The Chancellor will now hand over the instruments of authority to the Vice Chancellor, Professor Stanley Waudo, starting off first with the Charter. And then, and then the mace. The logo, which is also the university crest. And the seal. And we shall ask after the handing over of the seal the vice chancellor to be given the mace raise it with both hands hand over the seal let's have the mace let's have the mace and the vice chancellor to raise it with both the hands in the air so that we can be witness that this is now happening. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. The Bishop of the Redeemed Gospel Church, Dr. Arthur Kitonga, will now pray for the commissioning. Shall we be all silent before the presence of God to dedicate this great university before the eyes of the Lord? Shall we, for the honor of God, Stand and we bow our heads before the Almighty God. Let us all pray. Our dear everlasting Father, King of glory, Almighty God, the source of all wisdom and knowledge, we thank you for making it possible for us to gather during this memorable and historical day of Maud Kenya University Charter Award Ceremony. We thank you for bringing us safely together to witness the history you have given Maud Kenya University. We pray for the commissioning of the charter and dedicate the charter awarded to Maud Kenya University unto your mighty hand. 
May you cause the university to be established in all its operations. We pray that you make our vision of becoming an African role model in excellency, in training, research and innovation, science and technology become a reality. We dedicate the University Board of Trustees, the Chancellor, Pro-Chancellor, the Vice-Chancellor, the teaching staff, the administrative staff, the supportive staff, the student body, parents, sponsors, and guardians to your hands. Bless them, O oh mighty God. Lord, we pray for the entire leadership of this university that you may inspire them to lead diligently with wisdom that comes from above. Grant the members of this family of Mount Kenya University understanding that in all their endeavors, they will contribute toward the noble cause of building and strengthen, strengthening the university and the unit of the entire mankind. Let Mount Kenya University be a leading center of excellency worldwide. God Almighty, hear your cry. Hear our cry this afternoon for this nation. We pray also for our country. Under the wide leadership of our president, His Excellency, Honorable Mwai Kibaki, that peace will cover the entire country. And that there will be a clear political will among our politicians before 2012. We believe, Lord, you have heard our prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please let us remain standing. Now that we are a fully fledged university, to give an opportunity to the Mount Kenya University Choir to present the university anthem being conducted by Isaiah Oyugi of Kenyatta University. A garden of knowledge, freedom, and integrity, a world-class institution of learning, Mount Kenya University, a greatest source of pride, the leading center of Professor Stanley Waudo will now invite Professor Lea Marangu, the Vice Chancellor of African Nazarene University, on behalf of private universities to deliver her message of goodwill and thereafter, Dr. James Mwangi, the Chief Executive Officer of Equity Bank and Chairman of Vision 2030 delivery board to also deliver his message of goodwill. Professor Waudo. Your Excellency, sir, with your permission, on behalf of the Mount Kenya University management, staff and students, 
I take this opportunity to sincerely thank all institutions and the individuals who have sent us messages of goodwill. Sir, allow me to invite Professor Olive Mugenda, the Vice Chancellor, Kenyatta University, Professor Lea Marangu, the Vice Chancellor, Nazarene University, and Dr. James Mwangi, Chairman, Vision 2030 Delivery Board, to give messages of goodwill in the order I've read the names. Thank you. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Mwai Kibaki, the Chancellor, Professor Victoria Wales, the Pro-Chancellor, Professor George Eshwani, the Founder and Chairman, Mount Kenya University, Mr. Simon Gisharu, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Stanley Waudo, the Mount Kenya University Council, and the Minister for Higher Education, Science and Technology, um, Professor Helen Sabiri, the Head of Public Service and Secretary of the Cabinet, Ambassador Mudaura, the PSAs who are here, um, PS, Internal Security Minister Kimemia, and our PS.